The legal battles for the former president, one of his most trusted executives in the Trump family business, pleading guilty to tax fraud. The focus right now turning to Trump's company itself. Our senior investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky, joins us with more. Good morning, Aaron. Cecilia, good morning to you. At 75 years old, Alan Weisselberg preferred to go to prison for five months and pay a $2 million penalty rather than turn on former President Trump. Weisselberg pleaded guilty to all 15 counts, admitting that he schemed with the Trump organization to evade taxes by paying certain executives, including himself, with luxury cars and leased apartments and school tuition, none of which was declared as income. Weisselberg is now going to have to testify against a company he worked for for 50 years because the Trump organization, Cecilia, is charged in the same indictment. Yeah, Aaron, it's really tough to overstate how close his ties were and are to the Trump organization. Uh, but meantime, the Trump organization itself, they maintain they've done nothing wrong in this. Nothing wrong, and the case is political in the eyes of the Trump organization, and so they say the company will not be offering a guilty plea of its own trial scheduled for the fall. But Weisselberg's testimony really could make things difficult for the company because he has copped to a tax fraud that began when Donald Trump was hosting The Apprentice and ran all the way through his time as president. Cecilia? You know you're going to stay on top of this one, Aaron. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.